everyone welcome back to another day of crafting with friends and uh, working on my journal and I have decided I'm gonna sew it all in first before I decorate it because it's just gonna be that much easier the more I thought about it and tossed that around I was thinking oh geez you know I'm going to decorate these pages, they're going to get bulky, and then it's going to be really hard to get it in. So, I decided we're just going to go with the flow, and we're going to start sewing these in. Oh, I'll, I'll show you that later. So this is the template I made. I need to make six rows of holes. And I'm, I'm going to use cardstock. And I think I'm going to use this paper. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to decorate the sides. And then this is going to go in the middle. So this is the part you're going to see between the journals. If you get to see between the journals. Because I am going to glue those uh, doilies together. So we'll just see how that turns out. So let me start by just trimming off my, you know Karen is with us today and she's, she's working on, um, still working on her dismantling her shirt that she paid $2 for. It's absolutely beautiful. And Martha had to do some running around today, which she she got some bills and stuff to go pay today, so she's not with us today. You know, doing these pre-records almost like being live, Karen. I'm crafting. Yeah, it is. It is. It's wonderful to have friends. Yes, it is. It is and wonderful. good friends at that. Yes. Very good friends. True friends. Okay, so that's the piece I'm going to be using for the border. Or for the border, for the spine. And I'm just going to... This is All Dreams Etc. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so loving this kit with all the purples in it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And, uh, yeah. So pretty. Um, I really don't think I need it. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to trim this off because I have to cut these. One at the bottom and one at the top because I don't want to cut any of the heads off for fitting it inside my book. So yeah, I'm going to do it this way. And a very good friend of mine has sent me a book binding guide and pocket stuff. So that's coming in the mail. Oh, I wonder who she is, Karen. Wonder who sent oh, it to me. I don't know. Who is <laughs> huh? All right. It's a secret. I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a secret. Oh my goodness. I got it coming. Should be here soon. All right, so I cut these in half and hope and pray that they fit. Ooh, barely. All right, so I need to trim off. Actually, I'm going to round my corners, and I know I bought my corner rounder out here. I sure did. So I'm going to round the bottom because this is the part here I'm not going to be cutting. It's just the top part, so. Yeah, I kind of don't like showing the Tyvek. Hmm. I'm thinking. Maybe I should use some uh -oh. thick brown to cover this all up. Yeah, I think I will. So let me get a measurement by rounding this. And I'm going to completely cover it right to the edge as much as I can. Yeah, and then I'll put the paper over top like that. And then it won't show any of this, but it will. 
I don't like it. Okay. Hmm. Let me think. How do I want to do this? I don't want any of this white showing. So, trying to think. Maybe. I really hate to thicken this book up some more, but you know what? I don't like this paper. I am going to try this new paper I got from my dollar store. Let's see. And it's die cuts with a view. Don't know if I like that color purple. So maybe I'll just use plain white. Oh, this will fit right across. But yeah, I don't know. Is that a get a might be a good purple? Hey, okay. let's have a look. It might work. Let's see. Ooh, it is actually very nice. It's got a white backing, so that means it's probably got a white core. Oh my goodness, that fits perfect. Couldn't ask for a better job. That way. I don't have to look at these edges. So I'm going to trim this one, get this corner trimmed, and get my pencil here. And I'm going to measure how close I want to get to this edge. So about there. Oh my goodness, I think this is going to fit perfectly right across. Very thin paper though. So that's good. It's not gonna bulk is it? it. Yeah, it's not gonna bulk out my book so much. Alright, so let me trim this. That's the thing though. It's gonna be really hard to trim. You know why? Why? because it's too long for the cutters, the trimmers. So let me turn this over, go get my ruler. And I'll say, you're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, Ruby. Yes ma'am, I am. I'm gonna go get my ruler. But I need to measure it up here. Mm, I can't cut left-handed. Dang it. So I, I cut it like you're cutting fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to round it all the way around, just for now, because I need to get the measurement on the other side, because I can't cut left-handed. Okay, so we want it nice and close to the edge as we can. This is actually a really pretty purple paper. Too bad it's white on the back. All right. So the edge goes to about there, so I'd say right about there. Okay. That's good there. Mm, right about there. Okay. Alright, so let me move that. Now I can do this. But I gotta go get a ruler. I'll be right back. inches long so and that matches up pretty good as if I can see my pencil line where'd it go oh there it is all right that looks pretty good to me now where's my knife Try this again. Line this up. Mm -hmm. Look, 
at that. Works like a charm. Worked it like a charm. Perfect. I'm very pleased how that turned out. And we'll turn this in the garbage. Alright. Beautiful. And that's a little crooked up there, so let me grab some scissors and just trim this off. Straight. So that should work out. Perfect. All right. So, you're not really going to see the middle of it, so you're not going to see the spine part. Oh, look, I bent it. But I really want all the Tyvek hidden and that stuff too. So, now. Let me flip this over like so. And let me get my pen. I don't need this ruler right now because it's hurting me. Alright. I'll do it this way. Okay. So I'm just going to trim this out. A little bit. I trust my longer scissors. Whoa, put those over there. So they're out of my way. Just I know where they are this way. Pretty good. Okay, let's see how I've done with that. If that's good. Maybe it goes this way. Okay, so we take a little more off here, a little more off here. And a little more off here. You okay, Karen? I'm yeah, getting, I'm okay. I'm getting hot. That sun is so hot coming in that front, in that window in front of me. But it's great. All right. Let's see how I well I did there. Good. Now I just got around these corners a little bit. Yeah. Do I like this? I do, because it hides right up the spine. Okay. So I don't think I can use my corner rounder for this. So I'm going to try and do it by freehand. See how that works. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. 
done with this one. Oops. Cut that a little too deep. Okay. I think that's going to be good. So, here, where is it? Yeah, here. I'm going to take a wee bit more off here. Another thin sliver. Because I just didn't like that. Perfect. I love it. Okay. So, now, get some room here. Do I want to score tape it? Yes, I do. Especially beside here. So, right where the joints will be is where I definitely want to score tape it. <laughs> Squeakly chair, Karen? Yeah. That poor thing's so old, the stuff underneath of it even fell out. Oh, yeah. But it's still usable, so I use it. Well, that's the, what, the most important thing, as long as it's usable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it ain't dumped me on the floor yet. If it dumps me on the floor, we're going to have to take a... Oh. Walk about to the trash. <laughs> well, that's all I'm afraid of that happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I'm just going to go around this here in a square box because. Glue down later. Yeah, I'm going to use some glue with this. This one here I'm going to, you know, put a lot of score tape on this layer because this is going to be the most important layer. We don't want it pulling up at all with the weight of our pages or the weight of turning the pages. I'll just use lots of score tape and lots of glue. Okay, we are good. Now, I'm going to really give this a good press because of all the crevices and, you know, from the fabric. I have a lady at work that's making me a real wooden bone folder. I can't wait. She's working on it. She's carving it all by hand. Her and her husband took up wood carving. And she brought one in. Oh. Yeah, and she's like, I'm like, oh my God, this would be so fun to use because it's good. I said, can you make me one with a long blade on it with the handle? And she said, sure. So she's worked, she's got two of them made. And she's got one is an eight inch and one's a 10 inch length. I was like, yeah. So I told her if my wow, viewers. I can't See, I may have to put an order in. Yeah, I told her if uh, my viewers see that, they may want one because I said the long ones are really hard to get your hands on. And what's really nice is it's going to have a wooden handle. It's 
It's going to be super yeah. cool. Yeah, she she brought a small one in and the blade was only about this long. And I was like, that's, can you make it longer? She's like, yep, sure can. So, Is it thin though? Oh yeah, she carved it. It's a little bit thick in the middle, but it's super thin on the edges. Nice, smooth. Oh, it's beautiful. She wow. sands it. And then she puts a protective oil on it from, I guess, for woodworking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, and my pokey tool disappeared. Can't find it in the disaster anywhere. Well, that's your pokey tool there, ain't it? No, this is the Tim Holtz one, but I have a, um, I like this one better than the other one anyway. I got a new one with my um, uh, fabric kit. It's got it's a stiletto, but oh. it looks just like a pokey tool. It came in my my uh, fabric kit. What is it called? I forget. Anyway. Yeah, I like my pokey tool too. I use it a lot. Yeah. That one's just a little harder to get. Okay, so I think I'm only going to do half a side at a time because my glue will start to dry before I get to the other side. So let's just do half of a side. All right. Now, do I want to ink around the edges? Sure I do. I want to get rid of the white around the edges. Let's do it. Try not to let this paper fall on that cord tape. Or we're going to have a problem, Houston. Big problem. Now, let me see where I want this to be. I think I kind of want it like so. Just gonna see. No, don't you dare go down. Okay, I kind of want it right there. So, let's get some glue on this. Put glue. Here. Hi, peep peeps. I hear you. I'm no good with my left hand, but hey, I'm trying. I don't know why I did things backwards. Okay. Let's double check and make sure it didn't move. Kind of looks like it did. Okay, it's scary. <laughs> kind of scared to push it down, but. Gonna be good. Nope. And it's too late. It's gonna have to stay. That's okay. Where's my bowl? Don't well, there. nothing wrong with it. No. It's a little bit more border here than on the other side. Now I just want to work in this score tape, and then I want to run a bead of glue. All around the edge of this. Whoops. Like that. Hi, Tiki. Jeez. Come on. Yeah. 
Whoops. Dang. I don't care about the glue there because you're not going to see it. But I just want to make sure it's glued down really well along the edges. That's all I care about. Darn it. Okay. Jeez, I know it's Hi, Tiki. Hi, Tiki. Tiki, why are you? Tiki! Thank you! Tiki! Thank you! Tiki! Thank you! Thank you! Tiki! Tiki! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tiki. That's all you're going to hear. Peep. Tiki. Thank you. Tiki. Oh my gosh. Tiki, are you being cuckoo roots? Are you being cuckoo roots? He comes out here to go, Tiki, thank you. Tiki, thank you. Okay, I need to wipe some glue off here. So, I'll just give this a nice little pressy. And I think it's good and sealed. Looking pretty spiffy. I would say so. So, now we can do all the rest. Only this time now, I think I'll run a bead of glue around the outside because that was just way too crazy and made too much mess. On the, on the outside of the paper. Getting there. So instead of using the whole thing, I want to unscrew this because it comes out too slow. And I don't have time to pee around with this. Slippery. Came off before easily. No, because I got one hand. Can no oh, hell with it. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with the bottle. I'm not gonna fight with it. I'm <laughs> just. The time you got it unscrewed, you could have had it glued. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, that's about the extent of it. All right. But it hurts my wrist squeezing out the glue. Because I'm only getting a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Spine down really well. All right.
Yeah, it's kind of not perfectly even all the way around, but hey, it's handmade. Can't expect yeah. perfect. Now, I could just expect this to soak right in. Mm -hmm. That's all she wrote. Beautiful. Uh, now I need to get rid of this stuff now and get back my papers here. So this is kind of going to be actually. I'm going to leave. I'm going to kind of hide it as much as I can on this side. So now I can trim this down to as close to the edge as I can. So right about there. So I'm going to cut this one and this one that way. Where's my pencil line? Why don't I see a pencil line? Oh, I vaguely can see it. Okay. Let's do the corners. side done. <laughs> Let's do the other too, eh? So, is this going to camouflage it? Yes. Perfect. Except for up there. Oh yeah. Just barely. But I like that. And I like that. So a little bit of this purple spine will be showing. Well, at least it covered the white. My whole intention was to cover the white. It's covered, and I'm a happy camper now. That's what I wanted to do, was cover up that tie deck. I'm going to need that pokey tool again, because i got to poke all of that out. Oops. If I don't clean this thing out, it don't work. All right. Yeah, she really bent my eye pin. I just need to go put a new one on here. Not sure what that happened here. Or how that happened. But it did. Now it's all twisted. Pete's sakes. Well, at least I can get it in part the way and that's all that matters. All right, put that there, dump my board in the garbage. I brought a garbage with me today. All right, so um, let's do my spine because that's the most important piece is this guy here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I cut this the perfect size. Yes. All right. We're good. So, cut it there. 
there, there. We're going to need all three pieces. I got a lot of paper to poke through, but I think I'll be okay. I think I can do it. so pretty. So I'm going to ink this up and glue these two pieces together. I'll put those away for now and put this up here. My wet. Now give myself a little bit of room here because I need my ink pads. So this one's the purple side, brown side. Put these guys over there. You know what? I'm going to glue them first and then I'll ink them up because then that way they'll get inked on both sides. Famous music tunes. Huh? All right. Now, where's that scrap piece? I'll just use this as scrap. and press out. Keep the glue off me and my hands. Alright, so I believe that is good. Good, good. this up. get all these holes the same. So, I think I'm going to poke them all together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hold that there. Nice and snug. do the same thing. And I could probably, oh, why didn't I leave, put that in there? Duh. Jeez, I need that. This is going to be the most important part, Karen. I could probably use, I probably could use my crocodile to poke all these holes, you know. That's the real height of laziness, but hey, I really think I could do it with the crocodile. I really do. You know, 
don't take a VTV? Nope. <coughs> I don't have to poke through nothing. Okay, I'm gonna mute for a second because I gotta yell for my dogs to come in. Alright. It's another beautiful day in Canada. Oh, I love how this is so much easier. The only thing I have to poke are my um, pages, and they aren't that thick. I can do that with the pokey tool. I uh, sure can. But because this book is fabric, lamb, um, Tyvek, card stocks, it's pretty thick. And this is working out perfectly, so why not make my life easier? Sorry, Karen. I dropped you from all the vibrations. Oh, I already poked that one. Oh, why did I poke it right through my book? I'm an idiot. Oh, well. I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? Now I'm going to, now my stitches are going to show, but I could put buttons in here along my stitch lines, different size buttons. That looks so cool. Is too big? Huh? Is the hole too big? I was gonna make a hidden binding system, but look uh -huh. how look how well that worked. I poked holes through the whole book. So I could have just glued this baby on. That is so pretty. I love this paper. Alright. What I can do is go get my buttons. And when I sew my things in, I'm going to sew buttons on the back here to camouflage the threads. I think that's going to look cool. Okay. Yep, but first I'm going to glue this down. Might as well now. I was going to do hidden binding, but I don't know. I guess I'm not, no. That's okay, because I think it's nice to do something different. Tiki. Tiki. Whoops. <coughs> now I forget which way I grabbed this. So now I need to line these holes back up. Looks to me like they're lining up just fine. Perfect. Whew. Nice. Well, it's going to be a nice thick spine. It's going to hold these pages perfectly. <coughs> I don't have to worry about it falling out. Yep. Love it. Any glue. Here. Go 
there. So beautiful. Make sure this still folds nicely. Nothing interfering with that. That folds. So, so before I sew or before I glue these on, I want to figure out how I'm going to do my closure, and I'll use these for camouflaging whatever I choose to do. <coughs> so this is beautiful. I'm going to let that dry a little bit because. I'm going to grab our first signature here. And I want to make sure all my pages are exactly where I want them to be. So, kind of, yes. to go get more envelopes because I want to close all my seams in an envelope so they're hidden for sure. <clears throat> Let's see if this is even big enough to hide all three holes. Yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. Okay, so I'm going to go get some more of these envelopes. Great. And then I'm going to put pencil lines. Where's my pencil? Right here. So we want there, there, and there. <coughs> now, Poquito. all good and I do all right so I'm going to clip it here and I'm going to put another clip in I'm going to pray I don't <coughs> sew any of these upside down with that and now I need some thread <clears throat> so I'm not going to use this length I want the thicker one thicker is better that one's just shorter so I'm going to use this with all six strands <clears throat> oh geez <laughs> 